Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. We're in Elizabeth, New Jersey with Salam Ishmael. You know, I've traveled behind Salam since 2011, I believe even before that. And uh, he has been truly a freedom fighter for justice. Salam, what, is, what are we we're doing today? What is this well, issue well, about? What are we doing now is that apparently there's a trend of police misconduct in the city of Elizabeth. It, it dates back over 20 years. I mean, actually brutal behavior. Elizabeth, as people may not know, the Elizabeth Police Department have the highest uh, use of force than in, in any of the big cities and higher than any of the 400 cities. And they have their history. I have, I have with me Khalif uh, Brown, who um, in 2020 went to 7-Eleven, purchased some items out of there, came out of the store in an unmarked police car, ran the side of his car. He went to question the man, did not know if he was a police officer because he was in a baseball cap and such. And the guy went on and just, just started parading him with all kinds of assault. Calling him a nigga, mm. eventually spit in his face. Mm. He went cold copped him, knocked him to the ground. A while, while his car was still on, I think, right? Someone took his vehicle and drove off with it. Ambulance came and everything took him in because he had twisted his ankle on his on his down. Police found out he was he was pissy drunk. He was just became a, a detective four days prior, if I understand. Anyway, to make a long story short, there was an investigation by the Internal Affairs, and they found this guy violates some police rules. However, the most that came out of it was a suspension. Uh, and a uh, short term, I believe, he lost his badge as a detective, but my understanding, he's still on the police force. Wow. I want to introduce you to uh, Khalid Brown. I can tell you some details. Khalid, can you tell us the story verbatim from beginning to end? Yeah, I had went to uh, Primo Pisa in El Mora. Uh, you know, to get some food. I was sitting in my car eating. Um, I seen two cars come in, the cop car and the undercover car. I didn't know it was an undercover car at the time. Long story short, he wound up backing into my car and went to go pull off. So I gets out the car trying to, you know, observe the car, but he's still trying to pull off. We get into an argument, whatever. We going back and forth. I go back and get in my car. Now he's standing like over me. He gonna try to spit him, well he did spit on me. I get out the car, uh, you get into a tussle, I wind up knocking him to the ground. Uh, and we here at this time. And what, what year was that? 2020? 2020. 2020, okay. Yeah, right in the, in the smack middle of COVID. Oh, did you press the charge or anything like that or did you take and file any suit against it? Or? Nah, it was, it was the middle of COVID, so I, you know, all of, everything was closed and I just really didn't know what to do. I was really just happy to get out of there at the time, like I said, because, you know, I didn't know if it was a cop. And I didn't, I didn't want to go to jail that day, you no, know what I'm saying? saying? So I just went on about my business and they came and found me like six months later. Wow. And, 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 and so what happened, and of course, a lot of people were talking about it. Some people I took videos of it, and at some point I will reveal the video. I don't want to do that now. But um, they took videos of it and what have you. It was a talk of a city about this this, this man that was spitting his face, and also he called you. The, oh yeah, nigga. Yeah, he called you the N word. And so um, we were just trying to find out this young man, but we couldn't find him. And again, this is the this is oh man, this is. This is COVID, COVID bad. We're talking about June, July, August, 20. 2020. It's really bad for everything. All time, down. COVID at all time high at that all time. All time high at that time. So it was really tough. And then he stepped off and what have you. But there was an internal affairs investigation. And there was a founding finding that, that this cop did do something wrong. They would not tell us the punishment because they said it was internal personnel. Okay. Um, I understand by some of my insiders that that the most he got was some sort of suspension or what have you. Um, I think he he was relieved from his duties as a detective, but that didn't last long. He's 
deal with detectives now. His name is um, Mark Diaz. Mark Diaz is his name. And he's still on the beat today. So this is, again, part of a continual pattern of police practices in Elizabeth that we want investigated. Now, let me just say this. Now, we already know about the, the incident where, just recently, where police shot and killed this gentleman in his home while having a, excuse me, a family member at his home here in Elizabeth. Now, it's, it's the bit, some people are 50-50. They say, well, the cop came in, inside the house and they threw him home the night and they shot him. Some people are saying, well, the cop didn't do uh, de-escalation. They didn't do no prepping before they even went to the house, knowing that the guy was drunk, knowing that he had a, a, a night. And, and knowing that it was a family matter. So what I'm saying to you now is that we're gonna be we're gonna be broadcasting, thank you for Bassett News for broadcasting, we're gonna be broadcasting a number of these kinds of cases. Our hope in the next few weeks we'll be reaching out to the US Justice Department to investigate the practices and the uh, these incidents that have been happening in Elizabeth where people like themselves constantly be under the uh, these kinds of abuse by police in a list of security. Okay, all right. And from this point of challenge, are you guys going to uh, um, um, escalate this uh, situation in terms of uh, are you filing suit or what are you doing well, at this right point? Right now, we're going we're gonna to check all legal options. Yes. One of the things we're going to be doing, um, and I hope anybody else that had these kinds of incidents with this, certainly reach out to me. Uh, you can reach out to me on my email, salam underscore ismail at hotmail.com. Go to my Facebook page, salam ismail, or you can call 917-673-0563. I would say to you this, is that yes, this case is old, but it's, it's, it's a trend. And what we're gonna do is start putting these cases together. I'm not gonna tell you uh, some of my ideas legally, Okay. But I will say this much, none of these cases that come to us will not go unanswered. All right. That I guarantee you. Okay, Zachariah Jackson, Bassett News. Good night.